In today's video, we'll be setting up a new pig paddock on our farm. We'll be moving our pigs to their new home and getting the paddock ready for them to thrive. Establishing a properly constructed fence, even if it is temporary, is crucial for the success of your operation. A shorted out fence can be dangerous for you and your animals, as a short could start a grass fire when the grass is dry. However, it is important to have a strong spark in your fence to effectively train your pigs to respect the wire. To achieve this, we use the FAE DML SSL VT150 forestry mulcher attachment on our Multi-1 loader. Here in Tasmania, where all snakes are venomous, the forestry mulcher can also help create safer paths by clearing thick grass and bush. This machine is specifically designed to handle tough clearing jobs and is able to navigate through small stumps and large sticks. It can be used to clear electric fence lines, build walking tracks as well as help with maintenance around your property. If you need a reliable tool to help clear land and maintain fire breaks, the FAE Forestry Mulcher may be worth considering. Alright, now we're going to be moving these little piglets, they're not piglets anymore, uh, into a new paddock. Now what I've got in the back of the ute, I've got some new fiberglass rods, which will act as our, um, our posts. A uh, whipper snipper, or what the Americans call a brush cutter. A uh, post hole driver for some, um, some droppers. Star pickets, we call them, and uh, yeah, let's get going. All right, so the first thing I do get the star pickets and do the corners.
if I start the wire up at that corner, mm -hmm. uh, when it's time to open up the next paddock, I can just open up that corner. It'd be a lot easier because what with this paddock, I started in the opposite corner. So when it's time to move the pigs in here, I'm going to have to lift up the wire and try and encourage them under it. And they don't like crossing the barrier. It's more of a psychological barrier than anything else. So, these star pickets, mainly just to keep the line taut. This is where most of the um, pressure will be. And keep these nice and straight, just to uh, zip ties. The only thing is, you don't want them touching the metal. And the, uh, the existing paddock already has some of these in place, so I'll be reusing them. So I'll make my way up to there and I'll start running some wire. So the reason why I run the wire first is that way I can get a nice straight line. The straighter the fence, the stronger it is. And I'll come back and put in more posts once I've got, got it all ran out. straight line, you don't need as many of these. However, because we are in amongst an old tree plantation, we've got these dips and rises. So we want to make sure the pigs don't just run underneath. So sometimes we've got to put these where they're not the most ideal, and I'll come back and give some wire in a bit. Now, the reason we didn't use the forestry mulcher to clear this section of grass is there's an old fence line here and there's old wire in the ground and we don't want that wire wrapped up around the uh, mulcher head. Big, big, big. Come on, big, big, big. 
as you can see here, the girls are a little reluctant to cross that fence line. Even though the wire is lifted above them where they can't see it, they still know that that was the perimeter. Well, you figured it out, haven't you? And not everything goes according to plan. One girl just did not want to cross that uh, fence line. Now we weren't going to force her because that just stresses the animal. So instead I went to gather their food containers, uh, used the mulchy one, swapped out the forestry mulcher and picked up a tub of their feed, brought that back up and uh, you'll see shortly I will give them some extra feed today. And as soon as she sees her sisters having a feed she can't help herself but to uh, to come through and uh, get some for herself. While I'm preparing the water station, you can see the pigs in the background already foraging on the grassland. tip it over. Yeah, we've got some new ones on their way, we're waiting on some barrels from the supplier, but until then, we've just got to make do. Yeah, if it's half in the ground, it's harder for them to knock it over. Up. 
work on the farm doesn't stop even if it's raining. So what I'm doing here is I'm collecting the electric fence line from the pig's previous paddock. So winding up the reel and later collecting the uh, posts in preparation of moving the chickens. So what we do with the chicken caravan is that we move them into the paddock that the pigs have just vacated. And what the chickens do is they scratch through any droppings that are left behind, spreading the manure, taking care of the fly population, getting a feed while they're at it of course, and while doing so also leaving their own manure into the soil. And once the chickens are moved off, then I uh, broadcast seed from where the chickens were, uh, mix that into the, uh, into the topsoil and allow various species of grass to regrow. While utilising both the pigs and the chickens, we're able to take care of most weed species on the farm. This allows us to introduce a multi-species pasture mix into the soil, uh, allow it sufficient time to regrow and establish before we bring livestock back onto each section. One of the great features of the Chicken Caravan 30 is the electronic control board which controls the time that the doors open and close. So the night before I'd come through and I had set the programming to not open in the morning as I was preparing to move it. So the chickens are still locked inside and we move them into their new position and as you will see shortly I uh, changed the programming so it will open again the next morning at 7am and then manually control the door uh, opening to release the chickens for the day. Now the Chicken Caravan 30 is small enough to move by hand uh, but because the ground is quite wet today and slippery I thought well I've got the multi one out with feet and the pigs. It does have a tow ball attachment for it so it was practical to move it with the machine. daily task is to check the level of feed left remaining within the chicken caravan as well as the amount of water and to test the nipple drinkers found underneath to make sure each is flowing. Beautiful. Hey, baby girl. Oh, 
boy. Yeah. Go and get something to eat, darling. Two boys, six girls. What a good girl. She's a good pig. We hope you enjoyed watching our little film today. Uh, we plan to release a video at least once a week, maybe two or three times a week, just depending on the tasks that we're performing on the farm. I uh, hope you stick around, uh, like and subscribe to stay up to date with our videos and we appreciate any feedback that you might uh, send us our way.